Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about uh, Ryoko on Tenchi. No, we're yeah. we're going <laughs> to talk about the Owl House on Disney, and we're going to talk about the backlash that the Owl House is getting from certain people who don't like magic in kids' entertainment. And uh, we're going to see where we go with this. But we did have a chance to watch first episode of the Owl House. Yeah. People have been asking us what our thoughts were. And uh, we have thoughts. So we're going to talk about that. Before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. Mm -hmm. And we do talk about animation from time to time. We talk about uh, anime. Uh, we talk about Star Wars. Tired to talk about Star Wars. But we talk about Star Wars. We do talk a lot about Disney because they own everything. And uh, this is both. We've got uh, we've got Disney, and we've got animation. And uh, so the Owl House is a new animated series on Disney Channel, and I think it's on Disney Plus too. They have the first couple episodes. Oh, out. is it on Disney Plus? We saw I it on YouTube. Think yeah, we watch on YouTube. They have the first two episodes out on YouTube. And before we talk about the controversy associated with Owl House, do you want to talk like because we watched the first episode? Do you mm -hmm. want to talk first impressions? Well, it's not Thundercats Roar. Right? No, so that that's a good thing. <laughs> There's that. They, that's in their favor, uh, for sure. It wasn't terrible. Um, it's very Gravity Falls. It's very, like, I think Adventure Timey. Yeah, it's it's a very, like... Uh, and look, I, I think I liked it more than you did. I'll be honest. I I didn't like it. It's just, you know, I'm just kind of like, oh, it's more the same. Yeah, <laughs> well, Squid King really liked it. He, he did, he, he did, he did. He was laughing. This is, this is, there's a lot of parts on here that would be written. I could see him writing this. Yeah, it's um, it's very much yeah in the vein. I guess that's the best way to describe it. It's in the vein. If you like Gravity Falls, which I do, um, I really like Gravity Falls. You know, I think, and we've only seen the first episode, so we don't know where the characters. Are. Like, even the first episode of Gravity Falls is kind of like it doesn't come into its own until. Yeah, later. I think you have to see more, but I think it's funny because it's like Ryoko meets uh, Dora, <laughs> and then you have uh, the uh, uh, Squeaky kept saying it was like Claptrap. Oh, the demon cat. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what was, what's the Pokemon that where is it? Oh, uh, Cubone. The Cubone, Cubone, yeah. the Cubone face. Yeah. Um, but personally, I, I think it has a lot of potential. I, I like that it's, you know, it does seem like this is going to be another one of the shows where it's supposedly designed for kids, but it's actually for kids and adults. And it's going to have a large young adult following, but it, it doesn't seem like a stupid show. It doesn't seem like it's, like I said, Thundercats War, which is very condescending. Yeah, it doesn't seem to talk down. No, it to doesn't. The it doesn't at all. Um, I, I, I'm actually, I was actually really impressed with it. And you know, we talked about the the Gravity Falls um, uh, connection. You know, Alex Hirsch actually does the the demon. I forget his name off the top of my head. Uh, the Cubone cat, but um, is it a cat or a dog? I think it's a cat because it lays like a cat. So that's why okay. I'm wondering. Uh, but uh, anyway, it's I think it's off to a good start. I've actually, you know, people are like, "Oh my god, you hate everything." It's like, no, we don't. We really don't. We actually we like. Hate, we just hate garbage, and unfortunately, most of what's been putting out there lately has been garbage. So. Yeah, this show though, I think is actually pretty pretty high quality, and I'm curious to see where it goes. It does have, uh, it looks like it's going for like a, a kind of a Miyazaki feel to it but with the western sensibilities and sense of humor and of gravity falls so if you mm -hmm. like if if you took gravity falls and the miyazaki and some other anime and smushed them together this is basically what you well, would she get. pretty much is ryoko she literally is ryoko i mean she's even got the thing the whole like anyway but that, i like the character well you like because i like ryoko that's, <laughs> so... that's what i liked about that's what i liked about shiro was uh i actually like entrapta or Katra. Katra and Entrapta because they remind me of uh, Ryoko and, and Washi. Yes, they do know? very and much. And those are my like my two of my favorite anime characters. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh my god. That's... Yeah. So, so yeah. Our so cat's name is Ryooki for pity sakes. But not everybody likes this show. No, apparently you have to watch out because it's going to make your kids. It, your kids are going to be a bunch of demon I, worshiping. I think the reason they're concerned is because they're making the demon cute and they're making the demon funny and they're like, we don't want to tell kids that demons are cute and funny. I think that's what their yeah. argument is. I'm not 100 percent sure from this article because it's kind of all over the place, but I think that was what they're trying to say. Um, yeah. And here, this, this, here's the thing. This conversation comes up anytime there's some new entertainment that features magical elements, fantasy elements. Yes. Always comes up. Um, and I am not going to tell somebody if they have, uh, you know, their spiritual beliefs are averse to magic in this sort of entertainment i am not going to tell them well just suck it up whatever that that's between you and your god and whatever you, you right know, your don't watch something are. that you don't feel comfortable right with, obviously right. right it's you know what i'm saying like i'm not going to tell you 
you shouldn't feel weird about it if that's your belief system. Um, but I am going to say that this is strange that this is coming up again because we have this happen every time there is any kind of entertainment that has fantasy or magic or any before mm -hmm. this it was harry potter right um we've had uh you know obviously back in the day dungeons and dragons was mm -hmm. the root of all evil video games are the root of all evil uh you know anime has so much stuff in it that i think it's because it's not mainstream mm. that uh you know it sort of dodges the bullet now this came from cbn the christian broadcasting network oh yeah well yeah that's so all you know. apparently an ex witch was talking about how this is going to introduce people uh to magic i think what she's thinking like i said is more of the demonic thing i think is like we don't want to go telling kids that demons are cute little cuddly things and you know you should go hug them i think is what she's trying to say right um I'm somebody who grew up in, you know, a house that had activity and different things that went around. And, and I'm actually from a Christian background. And I do believe in demons and bad things. And, and I can understand, you know, with little kids who might not, you know, not get the difference mm -hmm. where that could be a problem. I really can. Most older kids, I think the show's more geared for older kids. They're going to know that, hey, there's a demon. You don't go hug it. You know what I mean? You know yeah, what I'm it's saying? All, it's all dumb It's not going to make kids start practicing witchcraft um that's what they're worried about the kids are going to start practicing the craft yeah the craft but they're going to practice witchcraft this is exactly the same thing we heard from harry potter they said at first glance the show seems as innocent as harry potter actually i'd say more so because harry potter uh, you know personally i can see I mean, kids going witchcraft with harry potter more than they would with this. yeah because they're actually you know having chants and potion names all. they might get into that more you know as the show goes on but uh, just like with harry potter there are groups that believe the owl house isn't so innocent uh, many are claiming that the cartoon is advocating for kids to become witches and warlocks. And according to a Christian minister, parents should take what their kids watch on Disney Channel seriously. I think part of it, um, well, here's a recent article published on CBN. This woman was a former witch. She claimed, she says, a teenager, she watched the craft and it led her to become a witch herself. Uh, then she went on to drugs. And There's she a lot of people who do witchcraft that do, you know, sheds. okay. <laughs> Cause yes, it's a gateway. It's a gateway show. <laughs> it's a gateway into um, sleeping into a, in a shed. shed. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's up to what your personal belief system is. If you don't feel comfortable with it, you don't want your kids to watch it. Don't let them. Right. You know, it's as easy as that. You right. Know? Um, I'm not going to sit there and say it's just a show because some, some people it's not. It really does matter to some people and that's fine. I, it's the same thing with anything else. It's like, look, um, you know, my feeling on it is if it, if it, if it uh, is offensive to you, then it's not for you. Mm -hmm. Don't watch it. Uh, but a million moms has started a petition to try to warn parents about the content and take it down. Now, this is the thing. Again, we're not into the show that much. But what I'm seeing, I think they're offended more because it's coming from Disney. They also know that, which is so weird because Disney put some really weird crap out Gravity there. Falls had all kinds of fantastical elements. Did they have a fit about that one too? I don't know. Because the thing with Gravity Falls is... I think it's because it wasn't blatantly like, hey, let's pra practice magic. But I'm like, Bill Cipher was like a, he was a literal like demon. Yeah. I mean, come on. And you know, here's the thing. They have the eye thing again, like Bill Cipher, yeah. I in this a lot. Here's the thing. Cool you know, you know, I think that, huh? If they connect the two shows. I, I'm wondering because they have the eye there. Yeah. Here's what, here's what I'm thinking. What's going on is parents don't watch what their kids are doing. So when it was Gravity Falls, they didn't think anything of it. Cause oh, it's called Gravity Falls. Okay, whatever. It's some kid show about, you know, weird town. This is called the Owl House, and that and that the one first episode talks about a witch. They're they, they don't might even pay attention to what their kids watch normally, but they hear that and they're like, well, suddenly I'm paying attention, you know? Yeah, and that's like, you know, anytime it involves magic, it's so weird because you can actually have shows that have worse stuff in it, like you said, that slips under the radar because it's not so overt. But in this case, it's like the whole show is about magic, mm -hmm. so it's in your face. And my feeling on that is if you as a parent do not want your kids watching the show, then don't let them watch the show. Well, I think it's refreshing that, you know, it wasn't a matter of let's hug the bad guys and that makes it all get better. Yeah, actually, you know, I was very surprised because I expected, I'll be honest, I expected a Tumblr fest and it was not. Mm -hmm. They had some Tumblr well, messages in maybe, there, but, but I'm not the ones I don't agree. They're not ones I disagree with, though. Like it's okay to be like, you. Like okay everybody weird, should be yourself. Because you know? my thing is, it's, everybody should be themselves. Be who you are, and that's fine. The other thing is, I think it's funny is the internet says everybody should be who you are unless you're like white, a guy, straight. Then you should never be who you are. But everybody else should be who you are. <laughs> anyway. I'm just saying. Okay, but. You know, so we got one million moms. So part of me is like, you know, and this is kind of reminds me of like PETA too. I'm like, every time there's something that could potentially be popular, you've got 
Oh, the one million moms get jump on everything. Yeah, they jump on everything. They are. They always. I'm. I'm. I'm a mom, and they jump on everything. They jumped on the Pop Tart commercials too. Oh God, the Pop Tart. That one was yeah. kind of disturbing. I will admit, when they ate the baby Pop Tart, that was a little bit. That was a little bit much. Yeah, well, that was more of a lawsuit because there was a there was a cartoonist, an indie cartoonist, that actually did those. Uh, you know, did cartoons very similar to that, and they think that Kellogg stole the oh, stole the me. whole thing. Um, but it's funny though, and I, I'd have to agree. Now this is okay. This is inside the magic, which is a, a Disney site, but they've got <laughs> two stories going on here. One is they're talking about what happened on CBN. The other is an op-ed piece telling Disney to go. Yep, yeah, right pistol. underneath, right underneath each other. Again, same outlet, multiple stories. But I will agree with them when they said that it's important to note. Uh, that Disney has always incorporated magical forces into its, you know, Wizards of Waverly Place, Dr. Facilier. Yeah, I mean, most of their, their, their... Tarot mean, cards and demons. Well, I mean, you know, it's not just that. Cinderella, fairy godmother used magic to turn her, you know, into the Gary for the ball and stuff. It, it's an element, you know, a Snow White, the evil queen. You Chernabog. Know? He's I mean, it's always Satan. a Little Mermaid. The you know, Ursula takes her voice and turns her, gives her legs, you know, with magic. It's a, a common, I mean, Aladdin. I mean, you can name pretty much almost every Disney movie and it's in there. And usually what happens, and this is the same thing that happened when I was a kid, was there would be like this outrage, whether it's legitimate or faux outrage, and it actually would have the Streisand effect. Yes. And so what would happen is because people were like, oh my gosh, we're, we're burning Harry Potter books. What's this Harry Potter about? Oh, hey, these books are actually pretty good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? And that's kind of what happened. Or you know, it was like, hey, these books aren't nearly as bad as people made them out to be. What's the big deal? Um, but the show's already renewed for a second season. Yeah, now, they have done that a lot. They don't know how it's going to go, and they keep renewing things before they know. Yeah, it's interesting to me. But anyway, so this again, this is this is an op-ed piece, and I'm not, I want to be very clear. I want to be very clear. I am not mocking people for their religious oh, beliefs, not at all. their spiritual convictions, uh, whatever. And I, my, again, my advice to you is if you are offended. Um, the, and this is, I'm going to say the same thing with the, the quote unquote, you know, like SJW types. If you personally are offended by something, uh, you're allowed to be, you don't have to watch whatever thing. Right. But it's also like, you can't go tell other people they're not allowed to watch right. it. Either. You're allowed to like it. You're allowed not to like it. Like we always say. Right. And so when I see people like, well, I personally find magical elements in shows problematic and I want it. I want it taken down. I'm like, this is no different than we find toxic masculinity problematic. Let's cancel every show. This ever. show, you know, it's the same. It's two sides of the same coin as far as I'm. It's I'm the same concerned. thing, which we don't agree with either one. Watch what you like. Don't watch what you don't like. I mean, yeah, it's, exactly. it's really that simple. Um, but right, you know, right out of the gate, there's no such thing as a good demon. All caps because the little cat critter. Uh, they're talking about him being a demon king. Um, well, biblically speaking, there is no such thing as a good demon, right, which isn't right. untrue. But again, you know, you have to realize not everybody is coming from the same religious background. Religious background. I mean, this is like people like, look, if you're not allowed because of your religious beliefs, you're not allowed to eat pork. Well, you can't really call for a nationwide pork ban. Right. Exactly. Because you personally are not allowed to eat pork. Exactly. Uh, that That is my feeling. And my, you know, it, and again, if it offends you and it's an issue with your faith, then don't watch it. Right. You know, don't let your kids watch it. You know, I mean, if you I, want to watch and complain about it, you're more welcome to do that too. Yeah, you know, but it's just kind of weird because we get people complaining about people complaining, but then they go complain about something. I know it's funny to because me. it offends them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like it's either like I don't like Thundercats Roar. I can't even. I can't make myself watch it. I stopped watching it. Yeah, I don't, and those I'm like garbage. It. It's a piece of crap. I gave. I just opinion. stopped watching. It. I gave my opinion. I stopped watching it. I'm not gonna watch it again. Why would I put myself through that? I have enough issues in my life. I don't have to put myself through that kind of garbage. Um. So it so said the show follows in the footsteps of Netflix's Disenchantment and Fox's Lucifer, which wow. you like. Fox's Lucifer. Mm. It's not Henry Cavill. No, he's, he's cute too. <sighs> he's the devil. It's the devil's candy. Geeky, don't don't touch the devil's candy. No, I'm serious. Don't don't touch the devil's candy. I'm not gonna touch the devil's candy, but I like Lucifer. It's a very good show. Right they present themselves with a foolishly arrogant perspective that drops everything, even the bare bones of age-old ideological definitions of good and evil, into the bins of high fancy make-believe, demoting the reality of angels and demons to harmless mythology. Well, here's the thing. How is this any different? How is this any different than, you know, the whole way that the TV show has been portraying, you know, that, oh, just by hugging it out, you can stop badness in the world. And that's, like, that's misleading children as well. I mean, I, you know what I'm saying? Well, this is, this is interesting. This is an interesting take that you said that. They said, shows like the Al 
Hellhouse manipulate the idea that there's good in everyone and teaches kids to let their guards down to demons and witches just because they may appear cute, benign, and sassy. They profess the same, to hell with it, contrary and nihilistic perspective to normal life and real spiritual evils as every other hipster artist on Tumblr. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Well, but again, it's like, look. I just, I just found that funny. Sorry. Um, and I'm not going to, again, I'm going to be very clear. I'm not telling people, you know. Yeah, we get it. You, you've already made it clear. Yeah, but I need to make it clear because there are really a lot of dumb people. If you say anything, they're like, you're anti-Christian. You're okay, anti look. this. You're anti that. I'm a Christian. I am. You would be surprised because I swear a lot. But I am. That's what I believe. You um, never said we're good ones. I watched it. <laughs> and, you know, I, can, I, 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 I understand what they're saying. I understand, you know, that could be an issue. But I honestly didn't think it was bad. I mean, I, I didn't. I, here's the thing. Like, look, I, I guess my thing is like, you know, this again, this comes up every time there's entertainment like this. And it's the same with Harry Potter. You know, as far as it being Disney, go back to Miyazaki. Spirited away, you know. Well, in that culture, though, too, that kind of stuff, that, that that's very prevalent in their culture. Yeah. That Those kind of stories, like, the, you know, you see them all the time. They're very prevalent. It's part of what they believe in yeah. their culture. So, I mean, you can't really compare the two. It's like apples and oranges. No, but what I'm saying, yeah, it's, it, but yeah, we do have, we do have a lot of backlash. Well, Kiki's Delivery Service. Okay. Kiki's Delivery Service is probably one of the most, I, I think, benign Ghibli movies out there. Mm -hmm. But Kiki is portrayed as being a witch, which is completely normalized and she practices magic and she's a helpful witch and a good witch. It's the same thing to me as the owl. Has, she has a familiar. She has a cat. You, you, know, know? What's, you know what's funny to me? The people that get mad about this also idolize people like the guy who wrote The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe or Lord of the Rings because they had the right outlook in life, according to them. Okay, well, that's, yeah, uh, you know, J uh, Tolkien it was supposedly, he was he was Christian, and we know that, uh, you know, C.S. Lewis was Christian, but yeah, we have fantasy elements. Yeah, just because, you know, just, um, you can tell stories. It's not real. I think the difference is maybe where it's coming from is a portrayal is it like you know that but no lord of the rings magic look gandalf gandalf is a wizard he's got magic and you know what he's the good guy he's like basically the angel stand-in character and he's a wizard right so i'm that's what i'm saying i'm like uh, you, you, know, you can find examples that you know go against what they're complaining about so i'm just saying you know it's just potato potato again yeah but this is going to be a, a conversation i think for the most part is probably going to be ignored. it's actually not bad it's actually pretty good if, um if you're yeah if we're taking the spiritual element out of it and we're looking at the cartoon objectively just as it is it's it's a pretty if you solid like gravity team. falls you'll, you'll like, like this it. if you like adventure time you'll like this if you like ryoko um, if you you'll like, like yeah if you like ryoko like and Tenchi, you'll like this um, it, it, that's just, you know, I mean, we only saw a couple episodes of it, but I, I don't see a problem with it, but you never know. I mean, you're entitled to your opinion. Just saying. Uh, yeah. And don't watch it. You know, I, I mean, I don't know. Disney, I mean, they're expecting people. This is why I don't understand. Like people, it's so weird because we get complaints, you know, like Disney is to this or Disney is to that. And it's like, everybody's mad at Disney. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Everybody. We get yelled at no matter what we say. We get mad at yelled at for. Even we're actually defending. We're actually defending Disney. Doesn't Santa's matter. Show we still get. Good. We still get yelled at for that too. So uh, whatever. So this is one of the things I personally, personally think they got right. I think the show has promise, and I'm gonna watch more of it. Mm -hmm. Um. So I don't know. Uh, if it's up to you, if you don't like it, don't watch it. That's what watch Tenchi now. Yeah, I won't watch Tenchi again too. Well, there we go. A, a, a moment for uh, Ryoko and her. Uh, anime boobs, I guess, because that's a booby picture. Anyway. It is a booby picture. Anyway, so we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.